Okay guys, here's the MPX we just modded. Alright, hi guys, um, Shakas Clackers here uh, from Azrael's Armoury back with a, another review, teardown. Um, you may have seen my MPX teardown on my last video, this one here is exactly the same way to tear down, so I'm not going to go into too much about that. This one here, it's your tan MPX. So when you purchase one or you see them online on the site, they have red accents. Uh, Azrael's Armoury will be sending out black accents. So your mag release, your fire select, your bolt catch, charging handle, trigger, outer barrel will all be black. You'll be sent that with it. So you'll have a spare set there valued up to $100 for free. That's a bonus. So we're going to get stuck into tearing this thing down. I'm going to give you a brief overview of what's what's inside the MPX. Um, we're going to go 13 to 1 gears, SHS piston, Alfred's brown o-ring. I use the green ones commonly but I've heard a lot of good things about the brown o-ring so I'm going to give them a bell. Piston head, I prefer the bigger hole ones but it's whatever's around at the time. Uh, shims obviously, M130 spring, uh, try and get that FPS up. It's currently at 270, I have chronoed this thing. I personally like to play at Nuketown where there is no field limit so we're going to up this build a little bit. 1200 milliamp battery, 11 volt, 45C constant discharge with a 90C burst. You can get these from Azrael's Armoury and they fit in any of your buffer tubes. So without further ado guys, we're going to get stuck into this thing and we'll pull it down and see what makes it tick on the inside. Okay, so now we're at the gearbox. Um, so you got your bolt catch. So when you draw it back, it catches on there like so. You hit your release, it springs forward. Here's your ambi fire select. Can be a little bit tricky to get off the first time. Um, so I recommend like a little flathead. I'll show you what I use to get them off. Um, but let's get inside this gearbox and find out What's making a tick? Alrighty, so here's your internals. Um, basically, as you can see, you've got cast gears, uh, which are more than enough for what they've built them for. Um, just completely fine. Um, you obviously, you go dumping 
a huge spring in it um, you're going to put a lot of stress on them uh, I'd recommend putting in new gears shimming them um, you can see if you put new gears in make sure you use that same fire select just pick it off put it on your new gear set off you go they have got a really nice return spring as usual the APS ones are a nice strong short return spring for V2 it's very good um, you can see the tappet is made to suit um, that extra stroke in the gearbox there's some serious leakage there um, so we're gonna obviously change that out while we're here uh, you've got your silver wiring kit low profile bushings these things here are good to go basically leave it stock as a rock chuck it on 11 volt and it's going to go all day every day um, once you start chucking giant springs in faster gears giant motors obviously you want to upgrade your wiring if you're going to go a bigger motor bigger spring bigger everything it's just it's a 20 amp switch block so it's you know and you start drawing 28 29 sometimes more depending on how crazy you want to go um, you, you're just going to melt your switch block if you are also going to push it to its limit these boxes here are a much much better version than the first batch of APS boxes but if you want to push them further just take the little edges off on here it's not about rounding off the corners per se it's about taking that little square that little edge off that's all you're really doing very minute so don't over radius your box it will weaken the box so here is the barrel it's a stainless steel barrel, I believe it's a 7.4 millimeter. So it's an 11 centimeter barrel. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna chuck a bigger spring in, brown O-ring, piston, gears, everything while I'm here. So we're gonna push this a little bit higher. Let's see what we get. 